Hey, what's up, you money makers and Islas Army? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk about one of our favorite stock on this channel, OTC Traded ticker symbol ILUS. Islas International, 13 cents. It was down 1.78% on Friday, as you can see, pretty flat. The market was not as great as you can imagine. On Friday, we were down 2.55%. In NASDAQ, for last five days, we we're down 3.47%. For a last five days we are not that down we're pretty even but it looks pretty down because in just last couple of days April 21st and 2nd we are down 5.81 percent what I'm trying to find out and what I'm going to discuss in this particular video whether there is a potential is Isla still a good investment can it double in 2022 which means 13 cents can go potentially to 26 cents or not so we'll be covering all that juicy information I also want to cover that I has also announced and shared this progress update with its short and medium term milestones. So I'll be covering all this juicy information. But before that, I wanted to ask you if you can hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. You can get a ton of juicy, juicy, important news and updates on many stocks that I've been covering. Isla, CYBL, many other penny stocks, UAMY. We are making great money. We have done pretty, pretty well last year and we are doing even better in 2022 take a look what other stocks that I'll be covering one the first one will be NEO $17.18 such a massive potential we bought this stock around the same price before a few weeks I want to say before a few months we sold it around 20 22 cent 22 dollars rather and if you take a look we have been seeing ups and downs very massive opportunity we bought this around in May and we, in March sorry and we sold it right Right here with the 10 to 20 uh, right here we bought around I want to say around 19 20 cents 20 dollars and we sold it at 20 percent uh, 20 percent return uh, such a great swing trade in couple of weeks second stock that I want to cover and I will be covering is Sophie right now it's a pretty good buying I bought Neo I bought Sophie and they are great stocks. We, if you take a look year to date, Sophie is down 60%. The company is doing pretty well and they are undervalued in my, my personal opinion. By the way, this channel is only for the entertainment purposes. This video is not a financial advice. Do your own due diligence. It's risk versus reward. It's real money. It's your investment and your savings. Do not just buy a random stock because just a random YouTuber is telling you to buy. Do your own due diligence, research, analysis, and then buy, especially the penny stocks super risky the risk versus rewards something like ILS, cybl so on and so forth but take a look at sophie technology ticker symbol sofi i bought this as well such a massive company such a massive potential we are down 60 percent six months we're down 69 percent which is massive one month we're down 30 percent close to 30 percent last five days we're down 12 percent and which is when i thought it's a great buying opportunity and last but not the least tesla tsla my favorite stock 1005 dollars we have seen some stunning numbers we bought the stock and sold it such a massive return myself I think I made a few thousand dollars in Tesla I bought around six hundred seven hundred and seventy dollars I sold it I sold it with such a massive 45 50 percent return at this price point almost close to eleven hundred dollars I did not really so sell it at eleven forty five I rather sold it at eleven hundred and ten dollars but hey still such a great profit in in a few days in a few weeks such a massive return on the investment going back to Alice what Alice can bring us if you take a look at five days we are down 3.94 percent one month we're down almost 9.5 percent six months we're down 60 percent can it get back up probably yes now this is once again there are so many moving parts that you want to think about when you talk about ILS because we want to get back on OTC QB we want to hear more about that ERT remember that they want to get uplisted NASDAQ they're running a little bit behind the schedule but that's okay you also want to remember by the way if you haven't clicked the like button I want you to really click the like button and also subscribe to the channel take a look ILS has a very strong community 17,400 followers if you take a look further on 12 
12th of April, I see a very meaningful update. I don't really find all these updates super, super meaningful, but take a look, ILS on April 12th, excellent progress made on US battery manufacturing manufacturer today the targeted acquisition could be another key asset for nasdaq er tech that the ert that we are talking about they want to get uplisted on one of the major exchange hopefully nasdaq now let's take a look at what their short and long term or mid-term update and milestone is talking about ILS, as you already know it's a merger and acquisition company based on safety firemist technology one of a kind they have expanded themselves in european market not only that, they did not really have any presence in United States in 2021 in Q1. The company that has $500,000 in revenue in Q1 2021 has millions of dollars in revenue. Their forecast revenue or the guidance that we got from the company is somewhere between 40 and 45 million US dollars in revenue in 2022. They're buying companies left and right, merger and acquisition company, their acquisition for emergency response technology subsidiary, which is what they want to get uplisted on NASDAQ or any other major exchange and I do believe that if they get listed more eyeballs more people are going to be able to buy and invest in the company ILS has been undergoing through this audit which also makes me super super excited and I am really really up in and into this idea of auditing getting approval and get some transparency and more confidence from uh, of course, from me and many other shareholders, because it adds some authoritative guidance into the numbers that the company is referring to. The company has made over a million dollars in in profitability. They're talking about forty five million dollars in revenue in twenty twenty two. So that also means that they're up for this auditing. They're finalizing this structure. Shareholders to lock up the share in a pref pre pre preference category. Finalizing the structure for the planned participation in major stock exchange change an opportunity which has grown substantially since companies uh, scenes Alice wishes to update shareholders on its progress and set expectations for medium and long-term milestones that they have come up with they updated in second quarter they also had this shareholder meeting in regards to in preparation for planned participation in major stock exchange Alice has agreeing to for the acquisition of several companies therefore the company is pleased to say that they are holding themselves accountable for promising the negotiations negotiations with acquisition that is achieving an upward of $100 million in annual revenue. Furthermore, while ILS has been structuring its rollout for the European first phase deal in Serbia, and remember that this is astronomical, a giant, giant, very huge deal that involves the privatization of one of the government entity into the European market in Europe. Now, that is exciting because they're almost uh, getting into the second phase. Now, this process is the completion of the larger second phase deal, having spoken previously about this creation of defense subsidiary that involves eight to nine million dollars in revenue in a very short period of time. So we're not talking about years and years worth of work. They're talking about in next few quarters, they're going to hit eight to nine million dollars in revenue, if I remember those numbers correct, and they tend to change. So don't quote me on numbers, but I wanted to give you some ballpark and some numbers as to what we're talking about when we talk about these phases. Alice is agreeing to acquisition for the emergency response communication company with a wildfire equipment manufacturer and more as the company continues to add value to its assets to its emergency response technology portfolio at the deal size the company is also significantly is in the preparation for planned participation in major major stock exchange as i already mentioned and what they're also talking about is we have so many deals in blinks of completion and many large new opportunities have arisen that we didn't anticipate now many deals are due to be announced very very soon with several other due to complete at around same time we are due to complete for most if not all the deals we have spoken about in the past so the company that is what the company does they're going to add running companies and their book of business and their revenue into ILS's portfolio that also means the company is also going to be profitable and booking more and more and more net income and 
gross profits as well. Now with that, the company has more opportunities, influential relationships at our disposal. That means that they're evaluating more and more, a lot more opportunities that we haven't planned that starts this year. And this is a great news for us. Ultimately, what they're saying is it means that we have the opportunity to not only participate in the major stock exchange with this stake that they want to do. Now, remember what they want to do is with the subsidiary model that they have, they want to uplist their, their, their companies or subsidiaries into one of the major stock exchange. And they wanted to keep 50 to 80% stake into all this subsidiary, which is, which is eventually going to help the umbrella shareholder, which is sticker symbol ILUS. Now we are cautious to be timing and substance of the news that we are doing so in best balance attention between keeping the market updated and appropriate timing towards our planned participation on a major stock exchange without jeopardizing it. We do, however, want to keep our shareholders updated so they can understand the enormous scope of what's going on behind the scene. That's what JP Backwell mentioned. He has been super, super bullish, very transparent, very vocal since the get-go, having previously announced that the audit, and this is the fun, fun part and very interesting part I wanted to share with you because every single time you hear the, uh, the third party auditor and more on the transparency with the numbers that the company is sharing is going to be beneficial not only for the company but for the shareholders as well as they get near to one of the major stock exchange and listing that one of the subsidiary it's a must to do item for ILS and having this company grew from $500,000 in revenue or half a million dollar in revenue in Q1 2021. Right now we are talking about 40 million, $45 million in revenue in 2022, which is going to call out for this audit as well. That that audit by AJSH and company LP underway. Alice can confirm the good progress has been made with audit, which has moved, moved towards completion. The company remains on track on for, on for this audit and subsequent name change to ILS International Inc. Now, this is pretty precise because if you take a look at their Twitter handle, now it says ILS International Inc. with ILUS underscore uh, INTL. So take a look. So before they, has, they had OTC into their Twitter handle, which now INTL really represents what the company is all about. Giving the option to uplist on OTCQB. And in my opinion, OTCQB is definitely going to help them because take a look, Pink Current right now verified profile in December 2021, as you see. But if they go on to OTCQB profile, it adds up one more layer, more transparency, more confidence, more trust into the ticker symbol, and more and more people will be also looking into it as well. Alice is currently reviewing various options and incentives for the shareholders to lock up the common shares in a preferred or preferred category or preference category. What it means is, as you already know, Alice has been talking about uh, making sure the restructuring on the shares that you know. Outstanding common shares are 1.22 billion. Authorized shares are 2 billion. These are massive, massive numbers and that can fluctuate the stock price. So they want to get below the 1 billion mark. What it means is they want to get rid of this 221 million stocks from the outstanding shares category and they're offering this preferred stocks to the shareholders as well now take a look at their market cap 154 million plus or close to 155 is their market cap at the moment with the price point of 1268 so more or less close to 13 cents now if they go back below that 1 billion mark that means that pool the outstanding shares pool will have less number of stocks now we will need to find out how this will play out when ERT and many other subsidiaries will get uplisted on one of the major stock exchange and how the the division or the or the partial portion of the stocks will be allocated so there are so many ups uh, there are so many things up in the air that we need to also think about what nick link their ceo says our entire management team has been hard work driven by acknowledging and acknowledging knowledge that we are building something truly special most exciting to see the vision that we have had for so many years really coming together now over the next few weeks and months we'll be announcing our series of deals and more details plans as our vision of building global company takes giant leap towards becoming 
reality. Now with this expand further, the progress that we have been making really clear, and this is the short and medium term plan that the company has. Now you want to also think about what the company has been doing. You can see a list of items that they have listed on this OTC markets and the press releases that you also look into. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribing to the channel. One thing I wanted to talk more about now on this channel, I cover both pros and cons. The pros we talked about the con. This is the fun part that you also also want to look into once again risk versus reward do not invest your entire portfolio this is only for the entertainment purposes not a buy or sell advice but hey think about what you can do with the stock can it go to 20 cents maybe can it go to 16 to 17 cents yes then it is 30 to 40 percent returns and return does not returns don't lie ROIs don't lie at the end of the day you, you if you can make money whether it's a penny stock OTC stocks or whether it's a giant giant blue chip company you want to decide you want to do your own due diligence because at the end of the day that's your own money the con of this is take a look at the average volume that you used to see 13.4 million right now the volume is 4.2 million and we have been seeing short of volume or lower volume every day for last few days 4.2 mil 4.5 million 3.2 million 5.9 million the highest volume in last few days that we have seen was on april 6 we are right now april 24th we did not really see volume broken over 10 million the 9 million volume was march 30th and we did not really see a high price point after march uh, i want to say 7th that's when we saw the high price point of 17 18 cents but after that the volume dropped so take a look 13 million 22 million 22 million right here 9.5 mil went below 10 million think about it and since then we only had once the volume about 13 about 10 million basically 13.6 million so what you want to note is we did not really see a high price point as well the stock has been trading consistently between 12 and 15 cents right now we are on the on the lower side of that spectrum thinking 12 68 or 13 cents now the question is can it go to 26 cents but maybe the another question is can it go to 15 to 16 cents or 17 cents relatively soon i do think there is a possibility that means that you can make 33 35 percent return just in the next few days that that's what my point was but think about both pros and cons think about other stuff that you want to buy as well because as i mentioned there is great possibility and there are so many options available think about neo 17 dollars can it go to 23 cents 100 i think it can go in my personal opinion this is not a financial advice can sophie go to seven eight nine dollars probably yes in relatively nearer time can tesla go and tesla once again we bought tesla 760 dollars or 765 dollars sold it 1100 dollars call ourselves lucky or maybe you want to keep watching this channel you can go check my previous videos when i did this video and what we talked about and when we sold it that's how you make money buy low sell high click the like button subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching